There's more proof tonight. The Toyota battery plant under construction is leading to even more development, including a new interstate. The future I-685 will help Toyota workers get to and from the massive plant under construction at the Greensboro Randolph mega site. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffrey shows us what's coming. Officials unveiled signage for future interstate 685. The future interstate begins with this interchange. It sits off a of US 421, giving Toyota employees an easy way to get off the highway and straight to work. Toyota is big. It's, it's, it's probably the biggest investment we've ever seen from a company in the state of North Carolina. The most jobs at any one time. But this is just a drop in a bucket to what I-685 can bring to the whole Carolina core region. NCDOT says the opening aligns with Toyota's plans to start battery production by 2025. It says the interstate also improves access for semiconductor company Wolf Speed. And we want pe people to be able to get to their job site and get back home safely and efficiently. It's important that we deliver the transportation infrastructure so we can all do that. Dan DeVries lives close to the Greensboro Randolph mega site. He's watching the multi-billion dollar investment come up. He supports the new interstate because it will reduce traffic outside of his home. This is so congested right now, you can watch the, the traffic going in and out of here, but yeah, if they can approach it from the other side, that's going to be a lot better. DeVries earns a living as a truck driver, but he's gained a side hustle because of Toyota plant construction, and so does his daughter. His front yard is now a popular lunch spot. He rents out space to a food truck while his daughter serves up a tasty beverage. 15, 20 minutes is what it takes to get some real food around here. So yeah, they're very thankful. They seem very happy with the deals. They're very happy with the food, and everybody loves the lemonade. Toyota is looking to fill about 5,000 jobs. Those workers are going to need a place to live, too. That's why some housing developments are popping up near the mega site, like Rogers Farm. They tell me out of 42 home sites, about 25% are Toyota homeowners.